Hello, good afternoon. How are you? I was wondering if you could fix these sneakers. Let me take a look at it because it looks pretty bad, see? Wow, this weather is really strange, huh? I'm so hot. Ma'am, I think I can fix your sneakers. Give me an hour or so, okay? I'll leave it as good as new. Wow, you didn't see anything strange about that shoe? No, miss, I haven't seen anything strange here, have you? It's only an hour, just an hour, okay, miss? Because then it will look like you've just taken it out of the store. Okay, I'll be back in a bit, okay? See you in an hour, eh? Now I'm going to change my life. Now I'm going to get out of this beauty. <laughs> Hi, love, what's up? Hello, good afternoon, yes. Do you want something? Actually, I wanted to know if this sneaker here has a consensus. Let me take a look at it, please. Wow, it's because I really like this sneaker and I really wanted to fix it. Look, lady, his soul is a little worn, but I think you can fix it. Really, young man? Wow, I'm so happy about that. These are really good sneakers. How long does it take you to fix it? Can you talk to me? An hour, an hour and a half or so, I can finish it. All right, lad, just a moment, see? I need to take a call, but I'll be right back. Just a minute. Sir, what is that? It could change my whole life. I have to seize this opportunity. I can't believe it. All people nowadays have lost their values, is that it? Nobody cares about honesty anymore. All anyone cares about is money. Nobody cares about the things that are really fair. She won't understand. There's no way she can tell. Hello, young man. There, I've sorted it out. So, are you really going to fix your sneakers? Wow, I took a closer look at the sneaker, and to tell you the truth, this sneaker is very bad, very worn out. It's really awful. I think you'd better throw it away. Wow, kid, really? I like these sneakers so much. But it's good, right? If you say so, I'll be an expert. But you didn't see anything different about this sneaker, did you? What do you mean, different? What are you talking about? The only thing that was different, awful these sneakers are. There was nothing of value inside, was there? There was nothing inside it. You must have, young man. I don't understand you. What do you mean by that? Are you accusing me of something? Do you want to know something? Take your sneakers and find someone else to fix them. That's all my client needs here, right? You're so ignorant. I just you. All right, then. You can go now. Go away, go away. Hello, young man. What's up? Hi, all right. What do you want? I was wondering if you could fix these sneakers for me. I really like it, you know? I'd like to know if it can be repaired. Let me take a look. It seems to be a very good sneaker, see? Well, this sneaker has a lot of sentimental value for me. I'd like to know if it can be repaired. Look, man, it's been a long time since I've seen a pair of sneakers this good, haven't you? Let me take a look at it. This sneaker is, it's very important to me. It has a very sentimental value. So can you fix it? Ma'am, it's, hey, is something wrong? Ma'am, there are some stones here. It has to look like a diamond. How did you let this happen? Really? I'm so inattentive, aren't I? Girl, it's here, but be careful. If I was a person of faith, I would have taken it. That must be worth a lot of money. Thank you very much. But can I ask you a question? What did you give me back? This is worth a lot of money. Yes, ma'am, I was, I had a very humble childhood. And despite this, my mother always taught me not to take what belongs to others. If we give up, we fight, even if it's just a little. But what little we have has to be honest, and we have to be proud of it. So I'll never take anything from others. That's how I was brought up. I'll carry the values my mother taught me with me for the rest of my life. Wow, it's definitely good to see that there are still honest people in this world. My phone's ringing. I'm just going to take a call. Quickly, okay? Girl, be careful, okay? Because the sun size stays in the shade. It's okay. Hey, hey, I've got good news. I went to the last cobbler. And guess what? He gave me back all the diamonds. He was very honest. Yes, it worked. So there. Bye, bye. So, miss, did it work? It all worked out, yes. Actually, I wanted to know a bit about your story. 
Can you tell me? I know how I was telling you, right? I come from a very humble family. We had to work hard to get here. I'm not much, you know? It's not just that I'm honest. I'm already very proud, thanks to the values my mother taught me. We had a difficult childhood, right? Moving from house to house, sometimes dumped, you know? For not being able to pay the rent. We went on and on. My mother raised me and three of my siblings. My mother was a warrior in this life, right? And she passed on these values to me, which I'm very proud of. Of cock and power. I was passing it on even to my children. And that's basically my story. I'm just an ordinary worker chasing my day job in the best possible way without passing anyone by. Always looking for honesty and offering my best to people. I'm sure, young man, that you'll be able to achieve everything you want. That you're an honest person. I'm sure of it, and it was just a test. You gave me back everything that belonged to me. I'm sure everything will work out in your life, young man. I have to go, okay? But take care. I can't believe those diamonds were fake. Of course they're fake, right? You're there. How can you do this to me? You tricked me. Did you think I was going to leave diamonds inside a pair of sneakers for anyone to take? You cheated, didn't you? But look, you don't know me. I can finish you off. Afraid of you? Hey, be careful what you say to her, huh? What do you think you are? She tricked me. It's not yours. I tested you. One more in him. What about you? You were very dishonest. This could even lead to police action. No, that's wrong. You don't have the right to deceive people like that. You don't have that right. But stop shouting at her. This is the last time I'm talking to you, huh? If you carry on, you'll see what I'll do. I'm going to get you out of this job you have. How, boy? No one can take anyone away from the square. I know the person who runs this place. If you keep shouting like that, I'll tell her to get you out of here. You! Wait a minute. That woman, that woman deceived me. She put diamonds inside a sneaker, and it was fake. He's another one who's fallen, you see. You too? That's a police case. And I might even call you. You can't do that. I'm a family man. He's a family man. We deserve to earn money. And you end up lying to us. Your parents and you want to steal money. Is that it? If you don't leave now, I'll call the police on you. Good example. You're both abandoning your children, eh? Well, off you go. Better to let them go, you know? They're both shameless, but they have families. It's better not to call the police. Otherwise, you'll end up doing them a lot of harm. Yes, I tested you. And you were the only honest one. I didn't even think I'd find someone who wouldn't steal from me. But that's okay. I want to prove something to you. Thank you. But what? I have a networking company and I'd like to propose it to you. Maybe you'd like to work with me there. Of course I agree to work with you. Okay, I'll meet you there tomorrow at 8 o'clock, okay? Oh, I forgot to tell you the address. It's 901 Avenida São João, okay? Wow, thank you very much. I can't thank you enough. This job is going to change my life. I'll be able to give my children a better life for my wife even helping my mother. Thank you very much. What you're doing for me, no one has ever done. May God give you a doubt, okay? No, you deserve it, okay? I'll see you tomorrow.